In today's video, we are going to loom knit a scrunchie. I will leave everything you need in the description box below. If you're new here, I'm Gina. If you want to make a scrunchie, let's get started. I'm using acrylic yarn. I got this yarn from Hobby Lobby and it is just the color red and number four. Here you can see a four and a little bit more about it. And then we are also going to use a 24 peg loom for this project, a loom hook. I have a band for the hair, a pair of scissors. We're gonna need a tape measure and a darning needle. If you don't have a tape measure, that's fine. And a loom counter. This is my loom counter, but you don't actually need one. You can always write it down as you go. So we're going to start by making a slip knot with our yarn and we just wrap it and make a loop just like that. Then we're going to attach it to our anchor peg and once it's on, go ahead and tighten that up a little. So as you can see, I placed it on our first peg. So I'm going to take those yarn strings and just gently pull it up and make it a little tighter. So we're going to start by doing our cast on. So for each peg, I'm going to take my yarn and wrap it around each peg. Take your yarn and wrap it around, making a loop. So as you can see, I'm just going around, making a circle around the peg. And do this for every peg until you get back to where you started from at the anchor peg. Okay, so I made it to where I started. I did the entire way around the loom. Now we're gonna go for our second part of the cast on. So I'm gonna take the yarn and put it above the first string. And then I'm gonna take my loom hook and place it over. So I will show you here in a second. We're just gonna take that bottom and we're gonna place it over the top. So again, take the bottom loop and place it over the top of the first loop. And I will show this closer. Um, it's basically just knitting over. So we're just taking that yarn and putting it above, taking the bottom and wrapping it over the top. So keep going until you make it all the way around the loom. So this is exactly what the cast on would look like up close. So you're wrapping it around and you're taking the bottom loop over the top. So now we're doing the same thing except we're starting row one. So row one consists of one knit and one purl. So we're going to knit all the way around the loom so again, this is our first row, but I wanted to show you this is also what the cast on looks like. So continue doing this all the way around the loom. Now we're starting the second part of the first row, and that's gonna be a purl stitch. So go ahead and place your yarn below the stitch on the loom. So just like I did, take that off. It makes a loop. Take the loop off and place the loop back on to the loom. So again, here's your yarn. Place it below the stitch on the loom. Make a loop pull it off and place it back on. This is known as the purl stitch. So each peg, we're gonna do that. 
all the way around the loom. Just take that yarn, place it on the bottom, pull it up, and place it back on the loom. Now it's time to measure and we're going to bind off. Usually it's about two and a half to three inches. So we're going to start by purling the first two pegs. Once you've purled the second stitch, go ahead and tighten the yarn a little, but not too much. Then we'll go into our next step. We're gonna take that stitch off the second peg and place it on the first peg. And again, tighten it, but not too much. Then we're going to wrap the working yarn around the peg and take the bottom two stitches and knit it over the top. Now we're gonna take that stitch and place it to the peg to the left. And go ahead and tighten. Now we're gonna work the next set. We're gonna knit over. Take that peg off and move it to the right. Do your knit over and take the bottom two stitches and place them over the top. And then we're going to remove that stitch off of the peg and place it to the left. Now we're going to do the same thing and wrap it, knit over, remove that stitch and place it to the right. And then we're going to wrap that stitch and take the bottom two stitches over the top again. Very carefully. Now that just came off of the loop, but it's easy to fix. Just grab the middle and go ahead and move it over. So if that ever happens, it's you can usually locate where the stitch is and just place it on and continue as normal. So again, we're gonna to move to the next set of stitches and we're gonna knit over, remove that stitch and place it to the right. Then we're going to wrap again. So we have three and we're gonna take the bottom two and place them over the top. Then we're going to remove that stitch and place it to the left. And just follow the same pattern once you get into the groove, it's pretty easy to follow.
working towards the end of our scrunchie and we're continuing the same process. We're about to be completely uh, done binding off. So we are at the very end and this is our last stitch. And then I will show you what we're gonna do next. So again, it's pretty simple. Once you get into the groove, it's pretty much the same thing until you are at the last stitch. So we take the bottom two, knit it over the top, and we have one stitch left on our peg. Now we're gonna take our yarn and wrap it around the loom. I wrapped mine about three times around the loom just so I would have enough because we are going to stitch our scrunchie together. And I will also show you how we're going to do that. So now that we've got everything, I've got it all tangled here, so I want to untangle it. And then we're going to take our darning needle and we want to actually close that little hole up, which is really simple to do. So now we're going to thread our darning needle, just like such. And then again, we're going to take that, we're going to knot it through so we have a knot and then just go ahead and close that hole up. So again, it's pretty simple. We just want to make sure that the yarn's not going anywhere. It may not look perfect and it doesn't really have to. So don't stress out if it doesn't look perfect. Um, mine never does. I'm never happy with it. So just like I said, the point is to just close the hole and then I will show you what we're going to do next. So now we're pretty stable with how it looks, so we want to turn it inside out. So take your scrunchie and we're going to, again, turn it inside out. We're going to take it and squeeze it together. And then we're going to take our ponytail holder. And again, this is just a basic elastic ponytail holder. And we're going to place it around the middle part of it. We're going to take that little string from the Go ahead and place it so it's even. So we're just lining it up, starting with the slip knot. And we're just going to do a stitch through each one of the outer. We're just going to do a stitch through the outer layers of the scrunchie. So I like to do the whip stitch. And that, that, that works it up nice. Um, do whatever stitch you're most comfortable with. Um, the basic uh, thing we're looking for here is just to close the scrunchie up on the outer layer. Continue doing this until you've completely closed your scrunchie. And that's going to do it for our scrunchie. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, let me know as well. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.